Praise be Jesus Christ. I've been forced to the underground for the very simple reason that I'm staying in a rectory and it's early in the morning and this is the only place I can shoot a video without waking up the whole house. Now listen, we exhort people to follow God's commandments. We exhort people to be holy. We exhort people to renounce the spirit of the age, to not live according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. And what is a vital part of the, the gospel message is you can't do this on your own. You need power. In John chapter 1, it says, To all who accepted Jesus, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God. If we want to truly live, live holy lives, lives of virtue, we need power. And I can testify that in my life as a teenager, when I started reading the scriptures, when I started crying out to God from my heart in prayer, when I started learning about the saints, I was filled with the Holy Spirit. It doesn't mean that my life immediately became perfect and that I never sinned again, but there was this, this burning desire to be holy and there was this grace that I found the sinful ways that I had been living, I found them repulsive. I didn't want to do those things anymore. A love came into me that, that made me want to change everything in my life. It was power. And again, I'm not saying that I still don't, you know, fall into weakness and have to get up and go to confession and keep going. But there's a fundamental grace that God gives to people who ask for it. Now, the image you, you could give is it's like trying to cross uh, an, an ocean in a rowboat, and there's all these currents and winds and waves, and after a while, you realize, like, I can't do this. I can't row a, a, against the, the winds and the waves and the currents. But then we discover that, hey, your boat has a sail. And if you allow this sail to be filled with the wind, it will send you through the waves and even into into the wind and, and take you to where you are called to go. And so what I want to do is I want to lead you in a very simple prayer of surrendering your life to the Lord Jesus and allowing him to fill you with his power so that you can become a child of God, as it says in John, to all who accepted him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God. Join me in prayer. Dear Jesus, I love you. And I do believe that you are the son of God, the savior of the world, that you died for me. Lord Jesus, I repent and I'm sorry for all the sins of my life, for all the things that I've done that I knew were wrong, that I knew uh, offended you and that hurt others and hurt myself. Lord Jesus, please forgive me and have mercy on me. And Lord Jesus, today I do give you my life. I give you my heart. I want you to come into my heart and fill me with your Holy Spirit. From now on, Lord Jesus, I want to follow you. I want to be one of your disciples and one of your followers, one of your beloved disciples, Lord Jesus. I lay it all down right now, Lord Jesus, and I say yes. I say yes to you, Lord Jesus, an unconditional yes to you. I will follow you, Lord, wherever you lead me. And I ask you, Lord Jesus, right now in your mercy, fill me with the power of your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, I need your power. I need the wind of your spirit. I need the fire of your spirit to follow the words of Jesus, to obey his commands. And so Holy Spirit, come now and fill me. Have mercy on me, Holy Spirit. Without you, I'm powerless. But I know that with you, I have all the power I need to live the life you're calling me to live. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus, I love you and I will follow you all the days of my life. Amen. Viva Cristo Rey.